and welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to make a very short and sweet video for all of you who've been asking for a video on this and for all of you who really enjoyed my video on how to pay GST and HST. Um, there's just not a lot of videos that will show you how to do it. And since I had to pay my income taxes recently because I pay in installments, I thought I might as well record it and make a little video for this YouTube channel of mine. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how to pay your taxes if you're self-employed like myself and specifically if you pay installment payments. And I'm also going to, of course, explain how to know if you should pay a lump sum or quarterly payments or how do you know any of this? Because when you're just getting started, it can seem very overwhelming and scary because you do not want to make a mistake. Don't worry. I'm going to guide you. I'm going to show you exactly what to do in this video. Okay, so let's dive in. So I've signed into my CRA account, not my CRA business account. That is for GSD, HSD. If you want to pay your installment payments or your taxes, you go to your CRA, my account, your personal account. So I have logged in and now I have scrolled to the section called installments. So I have to pay my taxes, my income taxes in installments now for my business because I've reached the requirements and uh, this is how you do it. It's very, very simple. So uh, just a couple things. So uh, you will be reminded twice about your installment payments uh, in August and February. So February is going to remind you about your March 15th and June 15th installments. Uh, August will remind you about September and December. Since I am actually filming this in April, but my first installment was due on March 15th. Yeah, you may have done the math. I'm actually late, which was not planned. I literally just uh, kind of lost track of time because what does time even mean in this weird pandemic world? So I'm going to show you what to do if you're like me and uh, well, make a late payment. It's not the end of the world. Don't worry. So we're going to go to the bottom of the section where it says, would you like to make installment payments? And we're going to go proceed to pay. Now, before really jumping in, I first want to direct you to a few really helpful articles. I will link them in the description of this video. Number one, this uh, will tell you whether you are required to pay tax installments. Now it says uh, you may have to pay tax by installments if your income does not uh, have enough tax withheld or if you're self-employed, which is what we're talking about, or have rental or investment income or certain pension payments or have income from more than one job. Now here's the criteria. And I think when I get all the questions, this is what you want to know. Now it depends on where you live. So the province or territory where you live on December 31st determines determines your net tax owing for tax installments. So if you're a resident of any province or territory besides Quebec, then if your net tax owing is more than $3,000, then you do have to do installments. And if you're a Quebec resident, if your net tax owing is more than $1,800, then you need to pay tax installments. Make sure to check out this article for more information. Also, it, you should receive reminders. Now, I feel like most people will get like an actual letter or an email through the CRA. I think I probably did get an email saying, hey, there's a message in your CRA account, probably ignored it, which is why I'm late for my first payment because I must have just missed it. Um, but there is, you know, a message area in your CRA account and that's where the reminders will be. So in February, you're going to re receive a reminder to pay your March and June payments. In August, you're going to receive a reminder to pay your September and December payments. What I highly recommend is putting this in your personal calendar with some reminders. Um, so, uh, you know, you can take a look at the schedule um, to find out, okay, what are the, the actual due dates for these payments? So I am not late. So put them in your personal calendar. I also have a spreadsheet with my you know, own personal uh, budget spreadsheet. I also just create a little section so I can keep track of when uh, things are due and you know, a little checkbox for, okay, have I paid it? So I can keep all that information uh, organized. So you really do need to keep yourself accountable with this because yeah, they're going to send you some reminders, but if you're late, well, that's on you. They, they're just going to collect their interest and their penalty charges, which is what I'm going to share with you right now. So installment interest and possible penalty charges will be applied if you do not pay your required tax installments or paid uh, insufficient amount. So not only uh, will you be charged interest if you are late, but also if you pay your installment, but not the right amount, if you you know are basically short a little bit. So we don't want to do that. Please don't do that. So um, this uh, article will go more in depth about how much is charged. So as it kind of says, you will be charged installment interest if all of the following apply. So you are required to pay installments in 2020 
2021, you receive an installment reminder in 2021 that shows an amount to pay and you do not make any of your installment payments or you pay late or you pay less than what you have to pay. Uh, so they charge installment interest on all late or insufficient installment payments. Installment interest is compounded daily at the prescribed interest rate, which can change every three months. So if you look at here, these are the interest rates for the first calendar quarter. So as you can see on this page, and I think we, since I'm a sole proprietor and most likely you are too, the interest rate to be paid on non-corporate taxpayer overpayments will be 3%. That is just, you know, money that you could have done something so much better with. So again, make sure to uh, pay on time. So anyways, I'm going to link these in the description so you can take a look and make sure to uh, not fall into the trap of, you know, being late or not paying the correct amount. So as you can see, it has my two uh, installments, March 15th, which is past, and June 15th, which is in the future. It gives me my specific amounts. I'm not showing you those because you don't need to know that number. Um, it'll be specific to you, your number. So don't worry about it. With that, I know that I'm not going to just pay for March. I'm actually going to pay for March and pay for June. I'll show you actually why I'm doing that uh, because it actually won't allow me to pay for March anymore. So I'm just going to take my calculator, figure out how much both of these installments are combined and then I'll be right back. Okay, so with that, I'm going to put in the total number of both quarters. I might even put a little extra in there in case there is interest, just a little bit. And then I'm going to click continue and uh, make sure that you've got the right amount there, but it'll auto populate there. And then you choose uh, how you want to pay. I always just do this uh, pre-authorized debit from a Canadian checking account. So I'm gonna click next. Okay, next it's asking number of payments, one uh, amount per payment. Again, that's the same um, as it was before, it auto-populated. Here it says first payment date. And as you can see, it won't allow me to go back in time to March, it's too late for that. So I'm actually just making an installment payment for June that should also pay for March. So I'm going to click on that. And it says uh, how often quarterly, it's auto-populated that. So it's telling me I have to make quarterly installments. Uh, this is my banking information that obviously you cannot see, but I've set that up in advance. And so I've selected it. That's where it's going to withdraw the funds. And then I'm going to click on next. All right. Now you just get to this page where you just have to review all the information, make sure it is accurate, such as your bank information, how much you want to pay. All looks good to me. And then you just authorize that. Yes, the CRA is uh, okay to withdraw funds from my bank account. And I agree to all the details listed above and then click on confirm. And here's my pay later confirmation. It says you've successfully created a pre-authorized uh, agreement with the CRA with the following information. That's the same from the other page and that's it. So all I really have to do now is to make sure I have those funds in my bank account because it is going to withdraw them in a few days. So that's it. I hope you found that video and walkthrough helpful. If you have any lingering questions, well, that's where the comment section is for you to ask me those questions. It honestly is so helpful to get your questions in the comments because it will give me ideas for future videos. And also I will answer your question. So make sure to comment below, like this video if you liked it. And if you aren't already subscribed, subscribe. Uh, if you're looking for some uh, additional kind of guidance, um, I've been getting a lot of questions too about uh, recommendations for tax accountants. So if you check out my recommendations page on my website, I have a few business accountants listed so you can check them out. I also have a number of spreadsheets you may want to check out, such as uh, budget spreadsheets for if you're self-employed, if you and your partner are self-employed, if you are an employee with a side hustle, if you want a specific spreadsheet built for your situation, I most likely have it in my shop page. So make sure to check that out. It'll help you get organized, craft a budget so you can, you know, organize all of your finances and, you know, have a really helpful system so you know how much money you should set aside for your income taxes. And you can also use those spreadsheets uh, in conjunction with any accounting software like I do. I use uh, accounting software with my spreadsheet and yeah, that is going to be a future video. So just you wait, coming up very soon. So thanks again for watching this video and yeah, make sure to comment below and I will see you in my next video.